back to guru this is my review for Beller season two episode four don't kill my vibe if this is your first time here subscribe to the channel click that like button i appreciate the support now man this episode was about a lot of things but definitely carlton stepping up he was stepping up standing up for himself from the beginning of this episode all the way to the end like he stepped up with will at the beginning yo Will, you didn't step up for me. He let him know that, which I said that in my past review. Like, yo, Will, what are you thinking about, dog? Uncle Phil just told you your cousin is off his meds. He going through something. Be there for him. He wasn't there for him. Carlton say that. Then Carlton and Will go to the BSC thing at the bowling alley. Carlton still trying to get at Yass. She kind of playing him. Will still kind of hating on Lisa and Drew situation. But Will leaves. After Carlton teach him how to bowl, that was horrible. Will trying to bowl, that was just god-awful. But after Carlton teach him how to bowl, Will leaves. He goes to see Jackie. While he's doing that, Drew takes it upon himself. Oh, this would be the perfect time. I got a little Carlton alone. I'm about to go address him. And that's what he do. He just walks straight up on Carlton, get to snap and make it a big scene all public. And Carlton snap back, beat him down. Right? Literally beat him down. They had to grab Carlton off of him. But then Carlton reveals to everybody exactly what was going on. And it's actually beneficial because we all dealing with certain little issues, whether it's at home, whether it's mental, physical, right? And it turns into something where people start telling different things that they going through, which is good for these kids to be able to have that outlet. But then also... It's going to lead to him and Yasmin being able to have that conversation because she's been real standoffish because she didn't know. Now she knows she probably feel a little bad. Like, dang, I've been, you know, kind of running away from him and stuff. And I really shouldn't have been on that because he going through something. And he actually went through something during that time. So it's going to strengthen their relationship for telling the truth. And then it also going to strengthen him and Lisa relationship, right? Their relationship always been good. But they kind of fell off a little bit with the Will and uh, Lisa thing. But now I think their relationship, their friendship is all the way back where it's supposed to be, you know. And I, I thought for one second, I ain't going to lie, when they were sitting on that car and they looked at each other, I'm like, are they about to kiss? But they didn't, you know. But it looked like it was a moment there where Carlton could have tried something. But Lisa, I don't think she really... You know, Phil Carlton like that, so I don't think it, it would have worked. But for a second, I thought in my head, like, oh, they about to kiss? Now, on to the other relationship, though, because uh, I think Will and Jackie will be good for each other. Like, I honestly do. I do think her, or yeah, her uncle, Doc, will mess things up because if you look at how she looked at the end when Doc, told her that he signed will it wasn't a good look she's looking at him like oh my god what i didn't got will into that's what she was looking like like this this dude my uncle but he ain't good ethically he ain't good you know in a lot of ways and i didn't got will into some stuff that's gonna be difficult to get him up out of i mean if it wasn't for uncle phil will would have been in like a 360 contract you know so salute to uncle phil for being so stubborn and so um vigilant and just knowing how things work and people out here taking advantage of people because he really did will justice with changing that contract and i really liked how they show uh, uncle phil and aunt Ville's relationship where he sat down and laid down on her lap she rubbed his head and he was able to talk to her but she really shouldn't have went behind his back because the the, the problem with that is you know, y'all not moving like a family unit when that happened. And the truth is, women know man for sure. I mean, but it's certain elements of a man that, you know, it's like they can't see sometimes. And a lot of times men can see when another man is scheming a mile away where a kid or a woman, a kid being Will, the woman being idea, they kind of a little bit more gullible. They don't see it, you know, like how they really should see it. But 
it's going to come to the light and we're going to see exactly what Doc is trying to do with Will. But after Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil got into it, they was able to have that conversation, get back on one accord. You know, she comfort him, he comfort her. You know, so I like seeing all that. And they were smiling at the table by the end. So, you know, you're going to bump heads sometimes. Sometimes stuff ain't going to move exactly how you want. But you got to handle it accordingly. Because we did also see Uncle Phil is the one that came to Aunt Via, apologized for his actions, started the conversation with a, a different type of tone. You know, it's a relationship. So they showing that dynamic. And that was dope. And while all this is going on, you got Hillary and Jazz starting a relationship. They've been in a relationship. Now Hillary wants to meet Jazz parents. And when they come over, they Islamic, right? So different, a little bit, different culture, a little bit more disciplined, right? Hillary comes in. <laughs> she comes in like she preparing for a test. She got all the questions. She didn't study the history. She at the table talking to him. I'm like, yo, Hillary is wilding right now. And she realized, okay, I'm going a little overboard. And they literally had to say, yo, let's change the subject. You know, so you get to see that it's a lot that go into dealing with somebody other than just race right religion culturally all this stuff matter too so i enjoyed them showing that dynamic and this was a real dope episode to me man going forward i'm looking forward to hillary and ivy going at it some more because they going at it i'm also looking forward to uncle phil trying to mend the relationship all the way with jeffrey because it ain't quite there even though jeffrey there jeffrey looking at it like hey man it's just a job Hopefully they get back to where they was and Uncle Phil is able to save his firm. Because remember, they try to sell this John. He just stepped away, which can't get too mad at James. Uncle Phil stepped away because he wanted to be a politician. All right, you want to be a politician? Okay, but they lost what he brought to the table. So he like, yo, we didn't lost the gang of attorneys. We didn't lost people, man. We ain't pulling in the same clients. You gone. We need you there, and you not there, so, hey, this the only option I got. So Uncle Phil got to make something happen with his company before it go, because I'm sure he'll make some money off of selling it, but it's still a situation where, I mean, you want what you can build. You know what I'm saying? You want what you can build, because if you sell that, then what are you going to have to fall back on? I mean, he ain't got that firm. He ain't a politician. I mean, he gonna be, hey, buddy, gonna be having to figure out something to do, you know. So I'm looking forward to all that, man. It's back to Guru. Y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this episode because it's a lot that they touched on, different stuff. I might have not touched on something that you caught or seen that you really like. Let me know in the comments. And as always, subscribe if you're still here listening. Click that like button, and y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.